This short tutorial will provide an overview of using JSTOR for your research. One of the great advantages of JSTOR is that it's a database that primarily contains full text scholarly articles as well as some ebooks and primary sources. It's interdisciplinary in its scope and covers a wide range of academic topics. To locate JSTOR from the library homepage, select Databases. From here, click J, and then click the link for JSTOR. You may be prompted to enter your NetID and password before being taken to the database. The default interface for JSTOR is much like a Google search box. Starting your search can be very effective from here, but for this video, we're going to take a look at the advanced search. This will take us to a page where we can set parameters for our search. I'm going to start by scrolling down to the bottom of the screen where we can see a list of disciplines that are covered in this database. As you can see, it is quite extensive and inclusive of social sciences, humanities, as well as the hard sciences. After each discipline category, there's a number. The number represents the number of journal articles in that area. By clicking on the arrow to the left of the academic discipline, we can see a list of specific journal titles that are included. Let's scroll back up to the top of the page. And for this example, my research project is on American Indian housing development. In the first search box, I'm going to type the search term housing development. I'm also going to click on the drop down box to the right. Your options for searching are by author, item, title, abstract, and captions. For this example though, we're just going to stick to all fields, since all fields include searching within the actual text of the articles. I'm also going to put the phrase housing development in quotes. This will make sure that the search term housing development shows up in that order in the text. I'll also add the search term American Indians or Native Americans, all with quotes in the second search box. We can connect words with or in the search box if there are synonyms or when there are multiple terms used for a topic like these, but we're unsure of what terminology the articles will be using. Then we can run the search. The search result shows over 40 items. These results include basic information about the articles as well as a snippet of where your search terms first appeared in the article. We can further narrow our search results by indicating publication date parameters. I would like to specifically see publications between the dates of 2010 to 2020. This gives us about 13 articles. Under subject, I might want to expand my search parameters including terminology and the disciplines for my exploration. This is useful if I want to narrow my focus to a specific research area and help exclude articles that are less relevant to my topic. Let's select Law. To the right, you'll find some buttons for quickly downloading the article as a PDF or to obtain a formatted citation. When we go to the Articles page, you can find the full text of the article displayed as it would appear in the print journal. Although, if you prefer to read the article on your own PDF viewer or save it for later, you can always select Download. Now that you see how JSTOR works, you can experiment by setting up different search parameters. Perhaps the most important key to locating relevant research articles is by perfecting the art of selecting good search terms. It is a good idea after formulating your topic to take some time to generate a list of synonyms or alternative terms. Construct several searches using different terms and combinations of terms. If you are struggling with brainstorming search terms, JSTOR has a really useful feature called Text Analyzer that will help generate search terms for you. Go to Tools and select Text Analyzer. From here, you can upload a scholarly article, lecture, study notes, or book chapter that is highly related to your topic and the text analyzer will analyze that item for search term recommendations. You can play around with adding terms or prioritizing their importance on this page to find more articles. One final thing to keep in mind about JSTOR is that it typically does not have current journal articles. JSTOR has what we call a moving wall, usually about three to five years. What this means is that JSTOR only provides full text access to articles published until about three to five years ago. If you need recent articles for your research, you will need to search a different database. If you have any questions about using JSTOR, please feel free to contact the library.